Hi guys, uh, we're still a trail guide to the body, presenting diaphragm, and we are page at page 213. So we're looking at image here, uh, the lateral view of the thorax, uh, showing the diaphragm, and position of the exhalation. Okay, so the diaphragm is the primary muscles of the respiration, and is unique in both its design and function. Its broad umbrella, umbrella like shape separates the upper and lower thoracic cavities to diaphragm's muscle fibers attached to the inner surface of the ribs and the lumbar vertebrae and converge at the central tendon. So the diaphragm creates inspiration, inhalation, and when its muscle fibers contract and pull the central tendon inferiorly. Because the central tendon is attached to the connective tissue that surrounds the lungs, a vacuum is created in the upper thoracic cavity, pulling air into the lungs. On exhalation, the muscle fibers of the diaphragm relax, releasing the central tendon and allowing the lungs to deflate. Although only a small portion of the diaphragm is accessible, the muscles effect on the thorax and breathing is easily felt. So the action is to draw down the central tendon of the diaphragm. We can see in here in this image here. So it increases the volume of the thoracic cavity during inhalation. So as you can see, the rib goes that way, right? It goes during inhalation. And the origin is the costal attachment. Uh, the inner surface of the lower six ribs and the lumbar attachment, uh, the upper two or three lumbar vertebrae. And the external attachment is the inner part of the sipoid process. As you can see in the image here, okay, nerve innervation, we have the phrenic uh, nerve C3, C4, and C5. So you can see the quadra quadratus lumborum, the psoas major here. And we have the lumbar vertebrae, and that is where the abdominal aorta is located, and the esophageal hiatus. Okay, this is a very good, um, important landmark, and of course the central, the central tendon, and the vena cava uh, foramen. Okay, and, and this is how um, the shape is like a dome shape. Okay, and this is an inferior view of the diaphragm. Okay, um, see you guys in the next video.